In our last QGIS video, uh, we learned how to use 3D view to create a 3D map. And we, we created a map similar to something like this, where we had uh, satellite imagery over a DEM. And we can see that DEM if I turn this off. There's our DEM. And then I put some streams on there just, just for show, kind of. So in this video, what I'm going to show you how to do is how you can animate and make a video that kind of takes you through this landscape. But first, I wanted to change the symbology on the streams a little bit. So let's open this up. Just double click on the layer, and it brings up my symbology. If you're not on the symbology tab, just click on symbology over here, and it will take you there. And so I want to make these streams uh, different sizes based on their stream order. Uh, stream order is just how many streams flow into another stream. So I'm going to go to graduated. And my stream order is in grid code. It ranges from the value 1 to the value 4. And I want to do this based on size. And I'm going to make four classes because they have four values. And here's where I can adjust the size. So we've got 0.1 to 2. So I'm just going to knock this down to maybe 1 even click apply and let's see what this looks like and so you can see those streams get bigger as they come down I might just knock this down even just a little further down to point eight click apply and then we'll take a look at that redraws okay that looks a little better so we can see where those big ones are and we can see the smaller ones that come down okay so I'm going to click OK here alright so now I've got this map you know, you can zoom in and you can see different features on the map. And you can follow this river up and zoom out and follow it up and, you know, take a turn in this canyon and zoom back out to the map like this. Okay. Now we're going to make a video that does that for us. And so we want to just, first thing we want to do is navigate to the point where we want to start the video. And so for me, maybe I'll just kind of fly through this main canyon here. So I'll zoom in down to this stream here, rotate just a little like that, and zoom out of here. So that kind of gives me a look at the overall watershed. And just adjust it a hair there. Okay. And so what I'll do is now I've got that set, I'm going to come and click this play button here. And this is called, uh, we'll give you the animations hint. So I'll click animations. And here I have keyframes. And what the keyframes do is they're going to be the points that the movie zooms to. So if I go to zero seconds, that's this keyframe here. If I go to five seconds, what it has is it has that set out there. So now I'm on the keyframe for five seconds. And let's uh, actually, we'll come back to that one. Let's start at zero. Um, and let's add a new keyframe. And let's add it at one second. So we'll click OK. And we go here. And so I want to start out. Let's go to my zero seconds. That's here. Let's go to my one second. That's there. Let's just zoom in. Maybe over to this point here. So there's my one second keyframe. Let's add another one at two seconds. And maybe that one I'm going to come over. I'm going to fly down into this little tight spot. So I can get a look at things here. Okay, now let's add one at three. Click add three. Okay. And after three seconds, I'm going to come over. I'm going to be zoomed in kind of on this area. Okay, I'm going to click add and I'm going to change this to four. Say okay. And after four seconds, 
kind of flown up into this part of the watershed, this little confluence here. And then let's go to five. And we'll just adjust five so that instead of being um, where it was before, we'll start to head up this way. Take a look at this part here. Let's add one more at six seconds. So we'll click add six. And this one will just kind of zoom back out. Take a look at the watershed from this new angle. Okay. And so that's going to be my video there. So now what I can do is I can come back to the beginning. And I can click play, and it will play through this for me. So I zoom in, and I follow my reach, and I get up here, and then I back out. All right? So that was pretty quick. Uh, maybe I want to slow things down. And I can go to this one. Let's see, we can edit the keyframe. So maybe I want to make this it, you know... Well, I'm going to start at the last one. So instead of having this a six second video, let's go down to our six seconds and let's edit our keyframe. And let's make this uh, 10 seconds and come down and let's make this one. I will edit this at eight seconds and our four. Uh, let's edit this and make it at six seconds. And then three. Let's edit that and make that at four seconds. And so now I've got zero, one, two, four, six, eight, ten. So now let's go back to the beginning and let's play that and see how it looks. So now that's a little slower, which is a little pretty nice. We get up there, and then we zoom back out. And so that's how you can animate moving through um, a 3D landscape in QGIS, which is pretty cool. One more thing I'll show you while we're here is that you can export an image. Let's say I want to go back to, to my first keyframe. I want to go back to this one. Maybe I just want to make something else, but we'll just make a kind of a view of our watershed here. Something like that. You can save an image. So you can just click this uh, save as image. And I'll just save this uh, to my temp folder here that I'm working in. And we'll just call it 3D image. Click save. And then if I open up my folder, let me take a sec here. I think it's still working on it. We'll give it just a sec. And go to, it's right here, recent file, 3D image. And I'll open that up. Computer's being a little slow, but that should pop up here real quick. And there's the image that I saved. Uh, of my 3D map. Um, so as you can see, pretty cool with the 3D maps, how you can make a video to move through it. Um, if you have questions about it, let me know. If you have other uh, things you want to see done in QGIS or have questions about how to do certain things, uh, let me know. We can cover those in future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the support and hope you have a great day.